Hey guys, it's Skulk3 and welcome to part 1 of Let's Play Time, gentlemen please! Sequel to Ben There Done That, which I just finished LPing. Uh, now, I've just, actually I'll, I'll start a new game because it does a recap of Ben There Done That, which you've just seen, so. Um, but yeah, I'll take this time to tell you that uploads may be a bit erratic over the next two weeks because I'm back in exam time, hooray! Well, next one and a half weeks. Um, because, yeah, I'm back in exam sort of time, so, I mean, I don't have, like, basically, I won't have time on Saturday to record everything. Uh, I might be able to record stuff, like, each day. Uh, that's what I'm doing today, is, this is, I'm recording today's part today. Um, but, you know, in future, I just might not have time for it and everything, so, kaboom, I say. Uh, sorry, um, so, yeah, if I don't upload, then I'm sorry. If uploads are late, then I'm also sorry. If uploads are as normal, then there's not a problem, really. Uh, so, yes, here we are with the introduction to uh, Time Gentleman, Please, which is a recap of Ben There Done That, in case you'd forgotten. Uh, but, you know, because I've just finished it. We haven't really done that. I don't remember shooting down that many zombies, or swinging across the lava, or punching a crippled dinosaur in the face. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't paying much attention after all. This doesn't quite seem right somehow. I don't remember there being a cat involved. I think they're taking a bit of artistic license with this, maybe. Just a little. Um, but yeah, it's, it makes for an entertaining start nonetheless. Um, so yeah, here we are at the end. Those two are surprised, as is the cat actually. Um, and yeah, Dan and Ben. Remember that? Man, crazy times. Two weeks later. We're actually getting into the game now, and it's raining. Look at those lovely rain effects. It's pretty cool. And here are our protagonists again. Hooray! Well then, here we are again. So where's this warehouse that future us just to look like a spaceship then? It should be right at the end of the street. Let's go! Let's go indeed! Now, our interface is pretty much the same as last time, I think. You can right-click to change it and everything. Do-do-do. Let's see what happens if you use Dan on Dan again. See if it's... Equally funny. Uh, I'm not using him on himself. You don't want to get all messy. Eh, uh, it's kind of similar. Uh, the inventory is a little different, but, you know. I left all the neato junk I pilfered on our last adventure back at the flat. You did what? Can't say I'll be needing any dead men's hands on this adventure. Well, no, but what about the crowbar or the lighter? They're pretty useful, surely. Well, I think I know what I'm doing. I won't have to pull any planks down or light any fuses again, surely. We'll be fine. Um, okay, if you say so, Ben. Uh, the save and load and exit, uh, and his options. Uh, you can change the speech quickness. I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to change these. If you turn off these effects, then you can see the rain stops. But we don't want that. The rain was fancy. Uh, and the volume and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think the racism slide actually does anything at all. Um, but, uh, as you can see, you can't slide it all the way down to the bottom. So no matter what you do, they're going to be slightly racist. Uh, for reasons that you will see. Uh, so let's get going on then, I suppose. Come on, Dan. Don't hang around, my old friend. Aha, this looks like a warehouse. Or does it? According to city records, this building was hired out under our names. I, for one, certainly don't remember hiring out a warehouse, so it must have been us from the future what done it. Thanks, Sherlock. It may have killed off the human race, but at least watching all the seasons of Magnum P.I. from start to finish has honed your razor-sharp detective abilities. Hey, hey, hey! Back to back on BBC One with Wee Breaks as our first act as glorious leaders. And the Murder, She Wrote crossover. To be fair, that was a brillo first act as rude as the planet. The only minor flaw being... The only minor flaw, bleh, flaw being that the world was so brainwashed to worship... You, you guys just read it. My tongue isn't cooperating today. So, yeah... Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy indeed, Ben. And they starved to death while we're watching an enjoyable blend of 80s comedy and action drama. We definitely need to get back in time and stop ourselves from ever gaining power. Well, now we found the place, it'll be simple. We get in, find any leftover time travel equipment, and go back in time to stop future us from abducting past us, and causing this dystopian nightmare of a future. But how do we get inside? Um... Uh, I get the feeling that I did accidentally somehow skip some dialogue in there, because the thing Dan said didn't really seem to make any sense at all. Uh, but whatever. 
Uh, so to get into here, you need to activate this pad with Ben, and then obviously use down on the other one. Ready for hand sensors. Okay, so the door should be... Oh. Okay, maybe not. Oh dear. And they died. That was a short game. No, of course not. Of course they didn't die. What do you think this is? Alter Ego? Anyway. What a team! Adventuring is easier than I thought. When can I do some more? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. I'll keep an eye out for any more hand panels, light switches, or chucky eggs for you. What more could you want, Dan? Honestly. Just being selfish. Uh, so yes, in here we have pretty much nothing, but... Oh, the cow! The cow door! Some sort of dead cow. Like a zombie cow, would you say? No, just a dead one. It's not reanimated anyway, look. You can tell because it's not moving. It has no flesh on its bones. And it's not making any unusual groaning noises. Oh yeah. Shame. Damn, it was so close to being a reference to their studio thing, Jig. Uh, now what you need to do here? What is this flashing button doing, eh? Let's push it, I say. Although, previously the buttons were inside the lift, but whatever. Oh boy, I hope this works so we can get into the lift again. I suddenly don't. I only just got that stupid tune out of my head from last time. I'm just going to not skip the text at all. I might turn the text speed up a little bit so that I don't keep skipping past stuff because I really shouldn't do that. And it ruins the dialogue. Oh well. Okay, that was close. Oi! We've already reduced the human race by six billion. I'd appreciate it if you didn't reduce it by one more. By dropping me through the trap doors and harpooning me with lift arrows. Yeah, I need to turn up the text speed a bit. As long as you don't complain me to death, it's a deal. Ooh, burn. Ah, uh, yeah, let's turn up the speech quickness a little bit. Put it to here, I say. And then we can gauge whether that's going to work. Uh, so let's open this door. The door is jammed shut pretty tightly. And without door handle technology, I won't be able to open it too easily. Oh, you don't think it's going to be some sort of puzzle, do you? I'm afraid it might well be, chum. Uh, a bit quick, but what you gonna do? I can... I think I can manage. Go on, Ben. Pick up the arrow. There you go. Now you're learning. Ah, it's nice to be carrying something around in my pockets again. Even if it does make me look like I've got a big pointy erection. A little bit too quick. Sorry, I should really have sorted this out beforehand, but... Previously, I was just reading it in my head. I wasn't reading it out. Because, you know, when I play games on my own, I don't I don't just sit there talking. I don't do the commentary for myself, as weird as that may seem. Uh, but, yeah, so let's open this door, I suppose. Come on, any second now. Okay, that was another close one. Careful, Dan. Door opened, no one killed. I'm getting better at this. I know, man, it's, it's crazy. You, you haven't killed anyone yet, and we're already eight minutes in. Ta-da! I bet they hid spare time travel equipment in the secret room. Okay, smart guy. Assuming they did and that we can find it. How are we going to stop future us from abducting recent past us? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They can only teleport us once they tricked us into sticking a coat hanger out the window, right? Right. So, if we stop coat hangers from being invented, they'll never be able to abduct us. Brilliant! Let's get searching! That is a pretty smart idea. I'm sure there's no simpler route they could take or anything. No, not at all. So, what have we... Ooh, one of those keypad jobbies. In the future, we get all sophisticated. You see, Joe, the reason we sped it up is so that you don't click! Ah! Let's look at this tape here. Hey, this thing is full of tape! This stuff's pretty hardy. I'd warrant I could almost definitely use it to tie something to something else. Oh boy, we've got some tape! And it's magnetic, apparently. It's mildly magnetic tape from the reel. Hooray! You've got to use the magnetic properties at some point, so I'm pointing that out now! Because you can solve puzzles along at home. Hey, Dan, what do you think the code's likely to be? Um, what code would we use if we were us in the future? We don't want to go getting it wrong in case there's some sort of booby trap. Fuck it. I'll just put in 4444. Uh, whatever. Yeah, because it's really going to be 4444, isn't it? I think that was just for lazy animation's sake, wasn't it? Seriously. Jeez, man! <laughs> Everything's trying to kill Dan today! Oh well, um, oh, this, that looks familiar, what do you suppose that could be, my friend? Hmm? 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 
This must be one of their time travel sticks. Looks like some sort of shitty plastic prototype model. Now all we need to do is go back in time and stop coat hangers from ever being invented. Everything's gonna be just fine. To the past! Woo! Okay, well, that was pretty easy, really. Uh, so I suppose two weeks later, in 1945. Right. So, fair enough. I, I can start. Wait a minute. 1945. It's the end of the Second World War. Hang on. What the heck? Okay. Hitler standing on a giant mech. Ah, there's been a. What? What? So, Donald Ben, we meet again. Oh, bollocks. That's right! Dinosaur Nazis! Um... I don't know what to say. Dinosaur Nazis. That's... That's the kind of thing you're gonna be seeing in this... In this game. So... That's just... Yeah, I... Man... Yeah, it's just, I'll stop that now, because that's getting really annoying. Lemmy! I remember you! You were the lift music man! Ah, crazy times. Um, Adventure Game Studio, good thing. I've never been able to use it though, really. I tried once, but then I realized that I'm incompetent, so it doesn't matter. Um, and yes! Um, let's, let's get back to the dinosaur Nazis, one of which is partially robot. I've never trusted you, Hitler. Goddamn stupid double-crossing Nazis! I can't believe we didn't see this coming. You have something of mine, yeah? Where would you hit it? Where have you hidden it? I don't know what you're talking about, Adolf. You start from my men an important artifact. It's a golden coat hanger of Doom, yeah? It is a very special coat hanger of its very special prop powers. Ah, it's a bit too fast, but I can deal with it. He's an inept occultist. Not going to tell me, eh? Hmm. What shall I do with you? Um. Give us some free cake, then bugger off back to Germany. Oh, certainly. Anything else? Um. Also, we'd like to do a funny little dance. I do not do a funny little dancing. Fair enough. Let's go back to when you had... Yeah. When we had you at cake and buggering off. Fine. Um, actually, just those two will be fine. Just the cake and the buggering off, please. I think you want to estimate exactly how much money I have invested here. Uh, fine. Actually, I don't think this plan is very fair on you. You've got to be diplomatic with Hitler. I mean, what are you getting out of it? Not very much, that's for sure. Oh, really, you think? Yeah, let's go back to thinking of plans for what to do with us. Sorry about all this. I'm sure we'll nail it eventually. Well, at least we're being nice and polite. Um, well, I think what you need to do is... I think this is going to be fairly fun. We'll take our chances with the Sarlacc. What the hell is a Sarlacc? Um, I have no idea. Well, we won't be doing that then, whatever it is. Fair enough. Uh, I think you need to have us killed. An interesting prospect. Oh... <laughs> Kill us gently, then assume we're definitely dead and just walk away. But what if you are not completely dead? We definitely will be, I promise. We'll hold our breath and everything. Mm, tempting, it will save on bullets if you kill yourselves. That would please the shareholders very much. Shareholders? Yeah, shareholders in Hitler and Co. Nazis Inc. You cannot cl clone an army of dinosaur robots with a little capital, you know. Without a little capital, even. 999, wait, I may need you alive. Let's go back to thinking of ideas for things to do with you. Dang it. Um. Wait, I've changed my mind about the killing plan. Oh yeah, and what would you have me do with you instead? Let's just stand here, wait it out. I would love to, but I have a meeting with the Nazi Inc. and shareholders at 11. Um. You turtle off to your meeting. We'll wait here till you get back. And leave you to escape? Ha! No chance. Lock us up and throw away the key. I would love to, but all my, all my jails are full. Too many disobedient British in this country. Honestly, it's almost as if Britain didn't want to get taken over by the Nazis. Kuh. We don't mind sharing. We make great roomies. Colonel Einsbauer, are there any large cells with space for these two British scum? Yeah, Hitler. Let's see your room in detention cell 1138. Take a book of the old Van Eccles. Brilliant. That sounds like a plan for us. Take us away and lock us up. Once we're in a cell, you'll stop watching our every move, right? Leading to potential for escape? Well, you cannot be watched around the clocks, this much is true. But you'll be in the Tower of London, which is a pretty strong dungeon. There is no escape. 
We'll take our chances, thanks. To the Tower of London with us. And yes, we are now headed to the Tower of London to be thrown in jail with Old Man Eccles. Hi, Old Man Eccles. I'm assuming that's you. Well, I know that's you because I've played this game before. Ah, well. Uh, so, yeah, Tower of London. Fun times. Rather slow walking, but... Why? They, I mean, I understand why they're angry, but they're always looking angry here. The Tarkin lies about you, scum. Are you trying to escape? No, not me. I just sort of slept out. You haven't been feeding me... What is this? Okay. If there's one thing I've learnt, it's never get a dinosaur robot Nazi angry. What is this here on the floor? Nothing, just dandruff. Yeah, you seem to have metallic dandruff. Tell me, old man. What are you hiding behind your back? Me? Hiding? N nothing. I do not believe you. Show me or you will be shot. Okay, that's a file. Is that some sort of rasp? I, I think it might be, now you mention it, yes. You have been using it to file down these metal bars, yeah? I may have been. An attempt to escape? Um... Then you will egg... Will egg. Did you get that? Not really. Well, too bad! We will show you what happens when we are disobeyed. <laughs> no, please! No! Um, yeah, let's, let's just watch this man being pulled out of a room by a robot goose-stepping dinosaur Nazi. Or is it Nazi dinosaur? Ugh. That's up to you guys to decide. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, so, yes, we are now locked in the Tower of London with no chance of escape. Uh, yeah. There's the whole locking sound. Oh, that didn't sound nice. Who does me? That wasn't very funny. That's it, this is getting silly. We've got robot Nazi dinosaurs running around the place. Hitler's on the verge of ruling Great Britain, and Magnum P.I. is being played by Harrison Ford, even though it's only 1945. I can't help but feel that trying to stop coat hangers from existing wasn't the best way to go about stopping us from becoming fascist dictators. True, coat hangers will find a way. Damned coat hangers! Anyway, uh, this it's been 17 minutes now, and that's fairly long for a part, so I'm going to end this part here. In the next part, guys, we're going to try and find a way out of this stinking dungeon. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye!